welcome my dear students so today we are going to check out the warming up and english workshop of the lesson the last leaf that is from standard a let us begin so here we are with do's and don'ts what we should do and what we should avoid let us check out with do's go to doctor for diagnosis take medicines on time take suitable diet take rest rest in properly ventilated room have cheerful thoughts courage and positive attitude okay let's check out with don'ts that is do not try any medication on your own do not avoid medication on time avoid junk food avoid physical stress and exertion do not close doors and window do not lose hope next one is make pairs of sentence of your own to point out the different meaning of the following homograph okay homograph means what they will give us one word and with that one word we have to make two different sentence means two different meaning of the same word let us check out the first word that is fine the new driver had to pay a fine for breaking the signal next we decide to go for a picnic only if the day was fine I hope you understood homograph means what. Let us check out the other word wave. Ronnie waved to his father before going for a picnic. The waves in the sea before the tsunami were huge. Next sentence is bear. Bear. The grizzly bear hibernates during winter. Simi could not bear to see the two cats fighting. Next sentence is rose. The rose is a beautiful flower. The teacher rose from her chair to explain the sums. Okay, let us see the other one. That is lead. Lead is used in pencil. A good king leads his country to prosperity. Match. Though we lose the match, we were not upset. Buy the shoe only if they match the dress. Said mother to Madhu. Next sentence. Second. Every second counts when we are writing an examination paper. Take the second turn on the right directed the policeman. Okay? Next sentence is object. The lawyer objected to what the witness said. The object on the table were taken away before the girl could see them properly. Okay? So these were the sentence. Let us check out the next thing that is read this story and choose the appropriate meaning. Struggling artist and here the answer is artist trying hard to earn a living. Next is skeleton branches. Skeleton branches means the bare branches. Okay? Next is wielded the brush that is painted skillfully. Okay? Next is okay, palette. Palette means a bowl used by artist to mix color. Okay? Next is masterpiece and here masterpiece means work and exceptionally beautiful work of art okay now next one is about homograph let us check out make pairs of sentence to show the difference between the meaning of the following homograph from the story remember children homograph means one word which have two different meaning from from that one word we can make two different sentences okay let us check out the first sentence that is interest here the bank promised a high rate of interest to its customer second sentence of the same word is the audience soon lost interest in bowling match now next word is when the wind was so big that one couldn't see the water sent sumit home as he was not feeling well next is left when roma turned to her left she saw a long line of taxis the mayor had left before it began to rain so these they have given the three sentence okay the three words we have made different two sentences of it let us check out the next one that is just the children had just left when the magician arrived it is a duty of a judge to be just next is mind mind your language said the man to the rude young boy angrily next sentence is we should try not to have any negative thoughts in our mind okay so this way we can change with one word to different sentence that is two different meaning of it next is state the fact about the story here the main character is sue 
Chauncey, Doctor and Bellman. Problems Chauncey's negative attitude, her lack of will to live and the fancy that she will die when the last leaf fell from the ivy vine. Attempt made to solve it. The doctor informed Sue that John C will recover only if she had the wish to leave. Sue looked after her well and tried to make her think positive. Positively, finally, Bearman painted a leaf on the wall so that the last leaf will never fall and John C will leave. Okay? So this was the third one. Next one is the climax, turning point. When John C see the last leaf still clinging to the vine and realize that she has been given message that she was with to want to die. The sweeper finding Bearman in very wet clothes and shoes with scattered brushes and a palette with yellow and green colors mixed on it. He dies so that John C. leaves. Okay, so this was the uh, thing. Next is, say whether the following statement is right or wrong. Sue and John C. were very close friends. Right. Sue was a rich girl. Wrong. John C. was hopeful that she will leave. Wrong. Bearman was hard hearted person. Wrong. The last leaf fell off during the rain. Right. John C. realized that her thinking was wrong. Right. Bearman did not know anything about the last leaf on the ivy vine. That is wrong. Okay. Now, next one is correct the following statement. Okay. Sue and John C were very good neighbors. Wrong. Sue and John C were very good friends. John C was eager to recover from her illness. John C had made up her mind that she was not going to recover. Sue ignored John C completely. Sue looked after John C well. Okay. Bearman was a very heartless person. Bearman was a very kind-hearted person. The real ivy leaf did not fall off at all. The real ivy leaf fell off the night it rained and showed. Okay. The last leaf was a real leaf that survived. The last leaf was a leaf painted on the wall by Bearman. Okay. Now, check out the last one that is question number 6. That is, read the description of the following from the story and describe any one of them using your own words. First, we will check out with Bearman. Bearman was a struggling painter who lived on the ground floor of the building where Sue and John C. Lee. He was a failure in art. For though he had painted for 40 years, he had not made any money. He always dreamed about painting a masterpiece and often spoke about it, but had never got round to do anything. Okay? The next one is The last leaf that John C. saw. The last leaf that John C. saw was not a real leaf, but a leaf painted on the wall by Bearman. It was dark green near its stem, but its edges were tinted with yellow. It hung from a brown branches some 20 feet above the ground. Naturally, it never fluttered or moved when the wind blew. It was Verman's masterpiece and had painted the night when the real last leaf had fallen. Okay, next one is the ivy vine. Outside the window, there was an old ivy vine, garnered and decayed at the roots. It had climbed halfway up the brick wall. It had lost most of its leaves due to the cold autumn. Only a few bare branches were left, clinging to the bricks. Okay. In the following sentence, point out the main clause, subordinate clause and encircle the subordinator. Okay. So here, there was a colony where many struggling artists live. Here, the main clause is, there was a colony. And the subordinate clause is, where many struggling artists lived. Okay. Subordinator means what? Subordinator is such a thing where two words, two sentences are being joined with one word. And that one word is what? 
that one word of the subordinator is where okay now let's check out check out the next one that is those who looked after her well john c showed no sign of improvement here the main clause is john c showed no sign of improvement and subordinate clause is those who looked after her well subordinator is though okay so thought that she had fallen asleep main clause is so thought subordinate clause is that she had fallen asleep subordinator is that okay now let us see the next sentence old bearman was a painter who lived on the ground floor so old bearman was a painter is a main clause who lived on the ground floor is a subordinate clause and the subordinator is who John C was sleeping when the two went upstairs. John C was sleeping is a main clause. When the two went upstairs is the subordinate clause, and when is the subordinator? Okay. Next is I want to see the last one before it falls. I want to see the last one is main clause. Before it falls is subordinate clause, and the subordinator is before. Okay. Now the next one. compose an imaginary dialogue between sue and john c when they realized about bearman had done for john c what bearman has done for john c let us see the dialogue writing john c sue did you know that mr bearman had painted that last leaf sue no i knew it just now too john c sue that means that he got wet that night painting the last leaf Okay, so here they got a doubt about it. Let us check out the next one. Sue, Anne got pneumonia after that. John C, yes, because of my stupid fancy that I will die when the last leaf fell. Sue, it certainly was a stupid idea. Because of her, all that things happen. Okay, next is. John C, I feel so guilty now. Sue, it is as if as if he died for me. Sue, yes, so that you may live. John C, oh, what a wonderful, compassionate man to go out in that cold, wintry, snowy night just to paint the leaf, that last leaf. Sue, and develop pneumonia. John C, what can I do now? How can I ever thank him? So, I know what you can do. John C, what? What? So, paint your masterpiece of the Bay of Naples and dedicate it to him. Fantastic thought. Okay? John C, yes. I think that's a good idea. Yes. I will do that. Thanks Sue for giving me such a wonderful idea okay